to make a 63 pelt possum skin cloak, probably, you know, one of the biggest cloaks that, that you'll see, is also to represent all of the countries that I'm connected to. And two of the countries on that cloak also have green ochre embedded in them, mixed with wattle resin. But the green ochre I got from one of my women in mourning who I'd photographed for the ritual and ceremony series. And as a gift, she'd given me the green ochre. And I thought, what better way to represent Tipperary, where my great-grandmother five times back is from, and my grandfather five times back is from Dunstable in the UK. And then the others are my mother and my father's countries and sort of going back. We laid out and cut the cloak at my gallery rep at Vivian Anderson Gallery because I don't have a space big enough at home to actually lay out 63 pelts. So my nephew Mitch Marnie and I went over to the gallery, cut them out, bundled them up, took them home and then eventually sort of slowly but surely sewed them. And the two end rows on the possum skin cloak are sewn with kangaroo sinew, which Mitch and Jacob, my other nephew, had made kangaroo sinew thread so that we could sew the ends of the cloak. And so, yeah, this is the first time that I've seen it as a whole, because I'm only seeing you know, little bits and pieces of it on my big table out the back, yeah. So it's, it's pretty extraordinary.